I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my channel on YouTube. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and writing excellent comments. Let me thank my students who are sharing their questions with me. This question comes from my student Simran and I hope its solution will help many others. The question here is, show that f of x equals to minus x minus 2 over 5x plus 1 is inverse of itself. So let me talk about the basic concept first and then we'll go in for the solution. When we're talking about inverse and self-inverse, it really means this, that we have a function, let us say we input something x in it and what we get is f of x, correct? So for a function, we are inputting a value x, and that's the function. And what we get here is the output, which is f of x. Now, inverse will do reverse the operation. And that is to say that when I feed back this value, whatever we got here, back to the function, then the same function should return me what I had fed in. That is to say, it will get give me back the value of x. Now, if that happens using only one function itself, then we call this as self-inverse. Right? So this is the concept of self-inverse. Perfect. So basically, we are operating this function on function, and what are we getting? We are getting x as the output. So that's the whole idea. So that means if I do f of f of x, and if I get x as my output, then it is a self-inverse function, right? So with that in mind, let's begin with the solution. So we are given that f of x is this. Let's figure out what is f of f of x, right? So basically it is f of all this, right? Which is minus x minus 2 over 5x plus 1. Now, f of this means in the function, we'll replace x with all this value, correct? So what we get here is minus x will now be replaced by minus x minus 2, all this, right? So we're replacing this with minus is already there. And what we're writing here is, let me put it in the bracket, minus x minus 2 over 5x plus 1, okay? So we replace this x with the whole expression. Then we have minus 2 here, and in the denominator, we have 5 times all this, which is minus x minus 2 over 5x plus 1. And we have plus 1 here. Is that clear to you? So that is the first step. Now we need to simplify this. Now best way to simplify is to get rid of this denominator 5x plus 1, right? So we'll multiply each and every term with this. And what we get here is minus of minus x minus 2 minus 2 times 5x plus 1 in the numerator divided by here we have 5 times minus x minus 2 plus 1 time 5x plus 1. So these two terms cancel away when you multiply both by 5x plus 1. Now let's simplify this. So we have minus, minus will change the signs. We have x plus 2 here in the numerator. That gives us minus 10x. And this gives us minus 2. Over. Let's multiply. So we have minus 5x minus 10 plus 5x. And that is plus 1. Okay. So x minus 10x is minus 9x for us. 2 minus 2 is 0. In the denominator, uh, we get minus 5x plus 5x is 0. Minus 10 plus 1 is minus 9. And 9 and minus 9 cancel and we get 
x. So clearly what we get as a function of function so so when we applied this function on itself second time so when we got function of function is basically equal to x and therefore we can say that f of x equals to minus x minus 2 over 5x plus 1 is inverse of itself is that clear to you perfect so that is how we are going to find this you don't really have to find the inverse function in this case just uh, do f of fx to get the answer and i hope this concept makes it absolutely clear Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks, Simran, once again for sharing this question and many others. Thanks to all of you for your precious time. All the best.